Do you guys know who our guests are today? Does anyone know? Has anyone ever heard of Pete the Cat? You have? Oh, good. He's coming. I invited him to this story time. Have any of you ever heard of Clifford the Big Red Dog? I know all the parents in the house have. He's coming later on, too. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. What I'm going to need from you today is I'm going to need you to help me sing some of the songs that Pete sings, OK? So we'll do a bunch of songs. We'll do some new ones, some old ones, and it should be a pretty good time. Um, so we're going to start with my welcome song that I always do. So we're going to start with clapping our hands. Here we go. Ooh, it's pretty loud. Come on, Wigglers. Let's get ready to clap our hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. 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 Everybody clap your hands. Can you guys do that? Stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. Everybody stomp your feet. Stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Everybody stomp your feet. Let's say hi to all our friends. Wave hello, wave hello. Everybody wave hello. Wave hello, wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. Everybody wave hello. Hi, everybody. Well, I know you don't like it. We have to do it every morning, though. Can you put some toothpaste on your toothbrush? Brush your teeth. Everybody brush your teeth. Brush your teeth, brush your teeth, brush your teeth, brush your teeth. Everybody brush your teeth. Good job. Keep on brushing. you got to do it every day, right? Nice work. The back part, too. Touch your nose. Touch your nose. Everybody touch your nose. Touch your nose, touch your nose, touch your sweet little nose. Everybody touch your nose. Nice job, everybody. Let's clap again. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Yay! Good job, everyone! All right. If you've been to my story time, which I know a lot of you have, I always start with another song where I get on the floor, and we're going to hit the floor together because it's fun to do. Can we all try that? Let's go to the next slide. Yeah. All right. Here we go. We hit the floor together. We hit the floor together. We hit the floor together because it's fun to do. Can we all clap our hands? We clap our hands together, we clap our hands together, we clap our hands together because it's fun to do. Can everyone wiggle their fingers? Let me see. We wiggle our fingers together, we wiggle our fingers together, we wiggle our fingers together because it's fun to do. Can we sway from side to side? Let's see if we can all do it the same way. Ready? We sway from side to side, we sway from side to side, we sway from side to side because it's fun to do. And we all say hello, we all say hello. We all say hello because it's fun to do. Good job, everyone. OK, what do we got next? All right, so um, before Pete comes, I thought we could all get familiar with how he likes to dance. Um, and he's going to teach us. So everybody stand up, spread out a little bit, get your personal bubble. And we are going to dance the boogie with Pete before he comes. All right. A little quiet. He says, I want to boogie with you. Let me teach you. Ready? Can we slide right? Go in the opposite ways. Can you do air guitar? All right, now we know it. Let's try it all together.
Can you do Air Kadar? All right, we're going to do it again. Here we go. Forward. Back. Oh, wait, we got clap, clap, clap. Air Kadar, let's do it again. All right, shake your tail. Shake your tail. Clap, clap, clap. That was fun. Interesting dance moves. Okay. I got the wrong one up. Okay. So I have a flannel. Can everyone uh, take a seat? Hi, friends. Can you take a seat? Wrong book. We're going to do this one instead. All right. Has anybody read Pete the Cat? And his four groovy buttons. So we're going to put Pete on the flannel board. And can you help me count how many buttons he has? I better make sure I put them in the right order. We got, let's see, one. Green is first. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, and four. So he has four groovy buttons. And he sings a song in this book. Do you guys know how it goes? Sing it with me. It goes, my buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons, my buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. Good job. So you'll have to help me and sing along with this. Pete the cat put his favorite shirt with four big, colorful, round, groovy buttons. Can you show me four on your fingers? He loved his buttons so much, he sang this song. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. Pop! Oh no! One of the buttons popped off and rolled away. Can you make the button roll away? Rolled away. How many buttons are left? Who can tell me? Three! Four minus one equals three. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. Ready? My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. Pop! Oh, no. Another button popped off and rolled away. Oh no, how many buttons did he have left? Ten. You're right, two. Three, three minus one equals two. Did Pete cry? No. Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his groovy song. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. Pop! Oh no! Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons does he have left? One. Oh no! Did Pete cry? Goodness no! Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My button, my button, my one groovy button. My button, my button, my one groovy button. Oh no, the red one popped up and rolled away. How many buttons did he have left? Zero. He had zero buttons. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. Pete looked down at his buttonless shirt. And what do you think he saw? Does he still have a button on his, on his belly? What button does he have? He has his belly button. Do you have a belly button? Point to your belly button. Ready? My button, my button, still have my belly button. My button, my button, still have my belly button. I guess it simply goes to show that stuff will come and stuff will go. But do we cry? 
Goodness, no. We keep on singing. Good job. All right. Okay, we're going to read a book, and then maybe our friend Pete will be ready for the party. He's always kind of late. Um, yeah, do you want to make it full screen? And then mute the sound. Oh, not what I wanted. Mute it down here, otherwise it'll talk. Okay. Okay, we're going to read a story. Have you heard of Pete the Cat and the Perfect Pizza Party? Has anyone read this one? Who likes pizza? On the count of three, tell me what your favorite pizza ingredient is. Everyone at the same time. Ready? One, two, three. Pepper Olives and pepperoni. All right. Well, let's find out what Pete likes on his pizza. Are we ready? I'm going to look at this screen because that's too small for my eyes. You want to make it big again. There we go. Pete the cat loves pizza. Pete the cat loves parties too. Who else likes parties? Everyone likes pizza. Pete had an idea of what he could do. He would have the perfect pizza party. Whoa. Pete's friends all, all arrived. It was time to build the perfect pizza together. That would make the pizza even better. With extra cheese. Anyone agree? Anyone to like extra cheese and pepperoni? It's a, okay, you guys help me with this part because it gets repeated a lot in the book. It goes, it's a party, a party, a pepperoni pizza party. But everyone did not agree. Callie said, pepperoni would be just fine, but I really love pretzels on mine. Who likes pretzels on their pizza? I think my husband would eat it. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Pretzels? Well, that's something new, but maybe pretzels could be groovy too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pretzel pizza party. Oh my gosh, that doesn't have quite the same ring to it. Squirrel said, pepperoni and pretzels would be just fine, but I really do love pistachios on mine. Who likes pistachios? Not a lot of kids, I bet. Well, that's something new. Maybe pistachios could be groovy too. So now when we say it, we have to go, oh, did it get stuck? It's a party, a party, a pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pizza party. And they're all playing guitar, pretty cool. Grumpy Toad said, pepperoni, pretzels, and pistachios would be just fine, but I really love pickles on mine. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Pickles? Well, that's something new. Maybe pickles could be groovy too. Who would eat pickles on their pizza? It's a party, a party, a pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle, pizza, party. Gus said pepperoni, pretzels, pistachios, and pickles would be just fine, but I really love popcorn on mine. Who would eat popcorn on their pizza? Well, that's something new, but maybe popcorn could be groovy too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle, popcorn, pizza, party. Whew, this is getting long. Alligator said pepperoni, pretzels, pistachios, pickles, and popcorn would be just fine, but I really love papaya on mine. Who likes papaya? Now Pete and the gang were really puzzled. Papaya? That's something new, but maybe papaya could be groovy too. All right, let's see if we can say them all. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle, popcorn, pizza party. Papaya pizza party. Pepperoni, pretzels, pistachios, pickles, popcorn, and papaya on top. The pizza was so high, they had to stop. Ding, the pizza was done. Trying something new might be fun. They all built up the courage to take a first bite and the pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickled popcorn, papaya pizza was <gasps> out of sight. Dynamite just right. In the end, the perfect pizza is a pizza shared with friends. <laughs> Heartburn relief. I need that. Good. All right. I think our guest has finally arrived. Who do you think it is? Any guesses? 
Do you think it's Pete the Cat? All right, should we all clap so he knows that we're ready? It's Angie, everyone! Give it a round of applause for Angie! Wait, is she our special guest? No. No. Let's see if we all clap if Pete will come in and say hi. Here we go. about you. Would you like to help us? Okay. All right. We're going to sing. Do you want to sit down or do you want to stand? It's totally up to you. He's going to dance with us. Does anyone know a song called Old MacDonald Had a Farm? Raise your hand if you know that one. Pete, do you know that song? All right. We're going to sing it all together. Did we turn the volume back on the computer? All right. Here we go. Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Old Nick Farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had some chickens. Can you guys go, what do chickens do? With a cluck, cluck here and a cluck, cluck there. Here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck, cluck. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. What else is on the farm? Let's find out. Donald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had some dogs, E-I-E-I-O. With a woof, woof here and a woof, woof there. There's a wolf, there a wolf, everywhere a woof, woof. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Good job, everyone. What else does he have? Let's find out. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had some pigs, E-I-E-I-O. What did pigs say? They're annoying, they're annoying, they're annoying, they like Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Oh my gosh, he's got so many animals on his tractor, look at that. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had some frogs, E-I-E-I-O. Can we all have like a frog? Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Good job, everybody! All right. Did you like that song, Pete? What did you think? He's like, it's okay. <laughs> All right. Oh! We're going to do another popular story. Pete, what color are your shoes right now? They are red, but he has a book where he really loves his white shoes, right? Let's see, I need help again singing this one. So in this story, he sings a song. Do you guys all know how it goes? It goes, I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. All right, you gotta help me with this. Okay, so we have Pete the Cat here. He is just walking down the street. Can you guys all see him? What color are our shoes right now? White, and he, he always says everything is cool. Pete the cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his white shoes so much he sang this song. Ready? I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. Oh no! Pete stepped in a huge pile of what? Strawberries! And what color do you think that made his shoes? Oh, now he has red shoes. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his songs. Pete, can you show off your shoes? I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. Oh, no! Pete, you didn't see that giant patch of blueberries? Oh no. What color did it turn his shoes? Blue. Did Pete care? Goodness, no. He kept on walking along and singing his song. 
I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. Until he stepped in a big pile of mud. Oh no, I hate it when that happens. So what color do you think that made his shoes? Brown. Now he has brown shoes. Did Pete care? Goodness no, he kept walking along and singing his song. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. Uh-oh. Until he accidentally stepped in a pool of water. What color were his shoes? White. But what were they? They were all wet. Did Pete care? Did he cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing, I love my wet shoes. 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 So now his shoes are white again, but a little bit damp. So the moral of the story is, no matter what you step in, keep on walking along and singing your song because it's all good. Good job, everyone. All right. And maybe he'll go, he'll go skateboarding now. All right, we're ready for another song. And then I think it'll be time to bring out another guest. Do you guys know the wheels on the bus? It's Clifford. Do you know the wheels on the bus, Pete? All right, let's sing along all together. Here we go. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all day long. Oh, look at the bus with the kitties on it. Hey, do you know how to drive a bus? He's like, sure. <laughs> Blink, 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 blink. The signals on the bus go blink, blink, blink all day long. The bus go, let's rock out, let's rock out, let's rock out. The kids on the bus go, let's rock out all day long. Yay! Good job driving that bus, Pete. Nice work. All right, what are we doing next? Oh. I think it's time for our next guest. Who do you think it is? Clifford! Is it Clifford? Hey, Clifford! <laughs> All right. All right, so now we have a cat and a dog. Do cats and dogs usually get along? No. Not usually. Do you think Pete and Clifford get along? Yes. Oh, yeah. They're good buddies. Right, Pete? Yeah. All right. Well, we've been singing a lot of... <laughs> We've been singing a lot of songs about Pete the Cat. Can we sing a song about a doggy? Yeah. All right. So you might want to, you can stand up if you want to. You don't have to, but we're going to do some, some actions. You guys will have a chance at the end to say hi, okay? All right. Can everyone wag their tail? All right. We're going to do a song about a doggy, and then I think we'll have to read Clifford's story. So this goes, if you're a dog and you know it, wag your tail. If you're a dog and you know it, wag your tail. If you're a dog and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're a dog and you know it, wag your tail. Wag, wag. Let's see, what else do dogs do? Do they know how to scratch their ears when it's kind of itchy? They're sometimes flies. Can you guys scratch your ears? Oh, so itchy. If you're a dog and you know it, scratch your ear. Scratch, scratch. If you're a dog and you know it, scratch your ear. Scratch, scratch. If you're a dog and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're a dog and you know it, scratch your ears. Scratch, scratch. If you're a dog and you know it, go woof, woof. If you're a dog and you know it, go woof, 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 woof. If you're a dog and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're a dog and you know it, go woof, woof, If you're ready for a story, have a seat. If you're ready for a story, snap your knees. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, look at me. Do you want to sit down, Clifford? All right, I have a couple seats here. It's okay if you guys, you can sit. Pete's going to stay in. Thanks, Casey. 
All right, we're gonna read uh, the original Clifford story. Um, F, oh, F11, maybe? Should be 11, oh, there it goes, okay. All right, Clifford the Big Red Dog. I'll try to read this one fast because it's a little long, but I'm Emily Elizabeth and I have a dog. My dog is a big red dog. Other kids know, I know have dogs too. Some are big dogs. Does anyone have a big dog in here? Yeah, Lou, I know you have a big dog. <laughs> and some are red dogs, but I have the biggest, reddest dog on the street. This is my dog, Clifford. We have fun together. We play games. I throw a stick and he brings it back to me. He makes mistakes sometimes. We play hide and seek. I'm a good hide and seek player. I can find Clifford no matter where he hides. Clifford, you're not very good at this game. We play camping out and I don't need a tent. He can do tricks too. He can sit up and beg. Can you beg like a dog? My dog does this. Oh, I know he's not perfect, but he, ha he has some bad habits. He runs after cars. He catches some of them. He runs after cats too. We don't go to the zoo anymore. He digs up flowers. Can you dig up for flowers? Let's pretend. Clifford loves to chew shoes. Do you guys like to chew shoes? Oh, good, good, good. It's not easy to keep Clifford. He eats and drinks a lot. His house was a problem too, but he's a very good watchdog. The bad boys don't come around anymore. One day I gave Clifford a bath and I combed his hair and took him to the dog show. I'd like to say Clifford won first prize, but he didn't. I don't care, you can keep all your small dogs, you can keep all your black, white, brown, and spotted dogs. I'll keep Clifford, wouldn't you? Yay! All right. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't too long, was it? It went pretty quick. You guys are good. Oh, let, did I, did we miss the good, the, yeah. All right, we're gonna do one more action rhyme together. This is a fun one to do because Clifford is such a big dog. And is the cat a very big cat? No. no, he's a pretty small cat. So if everybody wants to stand up, we're gonna do an action rhyme together. And then we'll wrap it up, but you stay where you're standing. All right, this goes like this, it goes, this is big, big, big. Can you make big with your arms? And then this is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. Let's do that again all together, ready? What was the first one, do you remember? Like Clifford? Big, ready? This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. Good job, everyone. Okay, we're gonna do the goodbye song and then we're gonna do a little bit of dancing. And after that, Clifford and uh, Pete are gonna stick around to, if you wanna say hi to them. If you want another Pete the Cat story, I can read one more, but we'll wait till everyone who's ready to go has kind of uh, dissipated. There is a craft in the story time room. If you want to make a Pete the Cat, yes, if you want to make a Pete the Cat a groovy button bracelet, you can, and we have pins and coloring pages too. Um, all right, so we're going to say goodbye. Ready? We clap goodbye like this. We clap goodbye like this. With our friends at story time, we clap goodbye like this. What else can we do? Can you guys jump? We jump goodbye like this. We jump goodbye like this. With our friends at story time, we jump goodbye like this. Can you guys twirl? Can everyone twirl? We twirl goodbye like this. We twirl goodbye like this. With our friends at story time, we twirl goodbye like this. What else do we have to do? Can we wave? We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. With our friends at story time, we wave goodbye like this. 